What's up guys, it's your boy, back at you with another video. Welcome to the channel, if you haven't been here before, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, smash that bell notification button and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the video. Pretty much guys, today I'm bringing you 7 things you didn't know you could do in Red Dead Redemption 2, so let's get straight to the video. First thing I wanted to let you guys know that you might not know you wouldn't be able to do this and it's pretty much when you're running someone down on a carriage you can actually jump across straight onto the carriage without having to to try and shoot them or you know what I mean so if you just want to surprise attack someone you can literally just jump across straight onto the carriage and not only can you jump across straight onto someone's carriage you can jump across onto someone who's just riding a horse so if you just want to surprise attack someone, you can literally just jump across, you get me? Proper wild wild west thing out here. The second thing you may not know how to do is while on the horse or the carriage that you've just stolen or any horse or carriage you've stolen, you can actually make your horse follow you, which I never knew this. Um, someone taught me this. I've been stealing horses or stealing a carriage and I've been riding off and then I'm out of range of my horse or my horse is on a long thing trying to get back to me. If you press your whistle button a couple times, your horse just tails you behind. And if you've got a fast enough horse, it can actually run at the side of the thing you're on. It's just my horse is so slow, it can't keep up. But if you've got a faster horse, it can come to the side and you can actually jump back onto your horse. So if you wanted to jump on, knock someone off and then jump back onto your horse, you could do that. And the third thing you guys may not know how to do is when you're hunting, generally people tend to go with a gun or a bow. For those who don't know, the gun mashes up the meat so the meat ain't worth as much or the pelt. Sometimes so can the arrow. Um, but if you actually just run down the animal on your horse and just get your rope out and just lasso the, the animal, jump off your horse and then you can just rope it in and just get a clean kill that way, skin it and take it to the butchers, you get me, and get the full price for the animal. That way you don't have to worry about losing money. And the thing is, it's not like the only reason you should really be using a bow anyway, a gun, is when you just want to take down a whole bunch of animals in one area and you can take them all out. But if you're just like literally just running through and you're just taking out one or two animals along the way to where you're going, this is probably a better way to go about it the fourth thing you guys may not know how to do and this is basically a broke man's fast travel so a lot of people may just go straight to the fast travel post and just travel that way which costs money or you can actually just press start and go to the online section go down and then you actually have the five different states in which you can fast travel to yeah it might not be fast travel to the exact location but you can um, fast travel to within the vicinity and then just make it on foot or on your horse from there the fifth thing you guys might not know how to do and this is basically your horse's access so you can you can literally stop people from getting on your horse so if you double tap the left button on the d-pad you can go in there go down to stables then you can go on your horse and you can pretty much allocate who's allowed to get on your horse so you can choose i don't know friends of friends posse everyone um but me personally i just have it on me only because i know my boys always try and jump on my horse and get off on it you get me so not today the sixth thing you guys may not know how to do and this one can be very helpful actually i learned this one recently myself to be fair and basically when you're running with your horse if you hold down x your horse actually can sidestep like a quick sidestep you get me so if you're running at an obstacle and hold down x and move to the side whereas your horse might struggle to turn normally it can actually sidestep out the way and it's pretty efficient so if or if you're trying to dodge someone in like sport of kings and like everyone's just coming head on you can quickly sidestep out the way it can be really effective or even if someone's shooting at you you can sidestep from side to side and they're probably missed when you're trying to show off in one of the villages you can just stand there and just do like a troll up on the spot it's pretty cool try that one out and the seventh thing you can do guys is is a pretty cool one actually um it's basically to do with fishing and when you're fishing it can be take a while and you can just end up wasting up bait or you can just grab your bow find a little perch and pretty much you can just sniper the fish out of the water with your bow bow fishing you get me um it's a bit difficult on littler fish you can get little fish with it but i'd recommend it for the large fish like this one um, you can literally just shoot it out of the water, pick it up, put it on your horse and be, uh, be done with it, you get me? No long thing out here. And lastly guys, the eighth and final thing you may not have known you could do, and that is your horse can raw swim. Your horse can swim, get me? And not just like a little bit, your horse can raw swim across like large bodies of water and that, you get me? So if you just need to get across somewhere and your guy is like struggling or 
So my guy just drowns, man. So yeah, he just drowns everywhere. So if you just jump on your horse, obviously it's, it has his stamina still goes down. But if you can get across, you can get across a decent large. You can get across a large area of water with this technique. You don't feel like you have to get off your horse to go through the water. So if you guys didn't know how to do any of these things, just be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what it actually was that you guys didn't know how to do. I'd appreciate that. Let me know if there's anything I may have missed on this list that potentially um, is better than this really i mean i'm sure there's things on the games which i still don't know how to do so this may be something i have to revisit with with a large amount of things that that you guys may not know how to do but if you have found something on this list that you didn't know how to do be sure to give the video a thumbs up and if you want to be part of the official many squad just smash the subscribe button you get me for daily content daily videos and other than that guys i know it's a bit of a short one today but i'll see you guys tomorrow anyway you get me so smash the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content you get me i appreciate y'all for being here i hope this video helped you out you get me and other than that guys i'll see y'all tomorrow yeah,